Hi everyone. Today, I'd like to introduce a brand new version of our window planners, the editable version. This version is highly customizable, allowing you to edit the templates inside the planner, including the text and layout. But don't worry, I've kept the non-editable version available too because it still has some benefits that the editable one doesn't. I'll make a video in a few weeks comparing both versions so you can decide which one suits your best for 2026. Now we have lots of apps available for digital planning, but when it comes to compatibility and flexibility, OneNote is no doubt one of the best options whether you are on PC, Mac, iPad, or Android. It includes pretty much all the essential tools you need for digital planning. And the best part is syncing between devices is almost instant, unlike some other note-taking apps that can lag a bit. Let me show you how our brand new editable OneNote planner works. It's available in two versions, a fully editable version and a half editable version. I'll walk you through both and show you how they look on different platforms. Both versions include all the essential planning pages, yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily, along with a full set of editable work life templates such as finance, wellness, fitness, nutrition, productivity, to-do lists, note paper, and more. To navigate the planner, you can use the sidebar or the hyperlinks at the top right corner to jump between monthly, weekly, and daily pages. These links are especially handy when you are in full focus mode with the sidebar and toolbar hidden. Let's start with the fully editable version. All templates are editable, including the text and layout, I'll take the daily planner as an example. You can edit the text, delete any section, or even redesign the entire layout if you want to. In this version, you can switch instantly between light and dark modes. The fully editable version comes with two weekly layouts, the box week and the schedule week. If you like time blocking tasks, the schedule week will be perfect for you. Otherwise, the box week gives you more space to drop down weekly notes freely. Now I'm switching to the iPad so you can see how the planner looks on a tablet. You can type directly into the planner or write with your stylus. You can use all the tools for digital planning here, just like you do with general note taking in OneNote. Next, let me show you the half editable version. This version includes some templates that can be edited, specifically the yearly calendar, monthly calendar, and weekly planner. There are two reasons why I made these templates non-editable. The first reason is you don't accidentally mess up the dates. The second reason is using stickers is much easier as you can move them around freely. Well, you can still resize these templates if you need more room for notes. The half editable version gives you a great balance. It keeps your core layouts neat and consistent, while still allowing you to personalize other parts of your planner. If you're wondering which one to choose, here's my recommendation. If you mainly plan on your computer and don't use a lot of stickers, go with the fully editable version. You'll get completely flexibility to design, move, and adjust anything you like. But if you prefer planning on your tablet, 
or you just want a clean, ready-to-use setup without worrying about layout changes and still want some level of customization of the planner, then the half-editable version will be your best fit. Now I'd like to show you how the daily planner works. Both versions has the same editable daily layout. On PC or Mac, you can type directly into each section, schedule your tasks, set priorities, track your to-do list, lock meals, water intake, mood, workouts, and more. On iPad, you can simply write and edit your notes as usual with your Apple Pencil. You don't need to worry about disrupting the layout. And if you prefer typing, it works just like it does on a computer. Just tap and start typing in any section. Besides the regular planner pages, this planner also comes with a range of editable work life templates designed to help you stay organized. These templates are organized in a separate file, so you can just pick the ones you need and incorporate them into your primary planner if you like. For example, I have a meeting on January 7th. I can copy the meeting notes page into that day's daily planner page. or I can just copy the whole page below January 7th. Another example is using the weekly habit tracker. I can set up my daily habits and copy it into each week of my planner. Lastly, let's quickly go over the calendar integration. This feature gives you quick links to add events directly to your calendar without having to go to the calendar in the middle of planning. You can see there are three links at the top right corner of every page, Google, Apple, and Outlook. Just click any of them and it'll open the corresponding calendar so you can add a new event and set a reminder for it. Our window planner also includes a sticker book. You can use these stickers to make your pages more visual and fun, or simply to highlight important notes at a glance. All right, that's how our new editable OneNote planner works. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any thoughts or suggestions about this new version, or if there are other templates you'd like to see for OneNote, let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to our channel. It really helps us keep creating more useful digital tools. Thank you again for supporting Fully Tool Line. I'll see you in my next video.